hello lovelies you're welcome to my youtube channel my beautiful name is kitty and you're welcome to kitty crochet's channel and if you're new here you're humbly welcome and you should subscribe before going any further and when you do so kindly turn on that notification bell youtube will keep you posted when i upload any new videos and for those who have subscribed thank you very much let's just keep the family growing so in today's tutorial we are going to look at something very beautiful today and we are going to look at how to make a crochet wrap top i know you are going to love this so let's start right away you are going to start by getting your measuring tape and when you get it you are going to measure from your one shoulder downwards up to where you'd like your top to stop so i've already measured mine and i would like it to stop at 17 inches and on those inches that you've got you are going to deduct two inches so I'm, if i deduct two i'll remain with 15 inches and i am now going to multiply these 15 inches by two to make it 30 inches on the inches you get you just deduct two inches and then you multiply the remaining by two so i am now going to make a chain without stretching that is going to equate to 30 inches i'm going to start with making a slip knot and for a slip knot you just rotate your yarn around your finger like this and then pull it out you then bring your whole right here in the middle and pull this behind yarn so for a chain you yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and over pull through and over pull through up to when i have something that equates to 30 inches without stretching this equates to 30 inches and i multiply it by two because one part is going to be the 15 inches are going to be for the front and then the other 15 will be for the back part and then i am now going to make an extra chain of three since i'm going to be using double crochets and after that i'm going to yarn over and come in the fourth chain this one and i place there my very first double crochet i yarn over and pull through three loops on the hook i'm going to yarn over pull through the first two and again yarn over and pull through the last two and again yarn over come into the very next chain i yarn over and pull through three loops on the hook i yarn over pull through the first two and again yarn over and pull through the last two i yarn over come to the very next one and over pull through three loops on the hook i yarn over pull through the first two and again yarn over and pull through the last two i again come to this very next one make sure that you do not skip any chain so you come and place there a double crochet come to the next one this one you also place there a double crochet you come to the next one and place there a double crochet so well i'm going to do to do this up to the end of my chain i've reached the end of the line and i'm going to chain one and then turn my work so after turning my work we are now going to be making a decrease at the start and end of each and every line so i'm going to yarn over and come in this very first stitch i yarn over and pull through three loops on the hook i'm going to yarn over and pull through the two loops i again yarn over and come to this very next stitch i yarn over and pull through i now have four loops on the hook i'm going to yarn over and pull through the first two loops at the end i'm just going to yarn over and pull through the three loops so that is a decrease and after placing a decrease in these first two stitches we are now going to be placing no more double crochets in each and every stitch i come right here i place there a double crochet come to the next stitch place there a double crochet and i'm going to do this and get back to you when i have reached the end of the line where i am going to be making a decrease as well i have reached the end of this line so i'm going to make a decrease in these last two stitches i'm going to yarn over and come in this one i yarn over and pull through three loops on the hook i yarn over pull through the first two so i again yarn over come to this very last stitch i yarn over and pull through four loops on the hook i yarn over pull through the first two at the end i yarn over and pull through these three loops after that i am going to chain one and then turn my work so after turning my work remember we are going to be making a decrease at every start and end of the line i'm going to yarn over again and come in this very first stitch 
I Yanova pull through these first two. I again Yanova. I am making a decrease. Come right here. Yanova pull through four loops on the hook. Yanova pull through these first two and at the end Yanova and pull through the last three. So I come in this very next stitch and I place there a normal double crochet. Come to the next one, place there a normal double crochet. Come to the next one. Place there a double crochet. Come to the next one as well. And you are going to be doing this up to the end of the line. So let me do this and get back to you when I am going to make a decrease at the end of the line. I've come to the end of this line and I'm left with only two stitches. So I am going to place my decrease right here. But you know pull through. You know pull through only the first two loops and again you never come to this very last stitch you never pull through you never pull through the first two you never pull through the last three at the end i just chain one and then turn my work so when i turn my work i am again going to start with making a decrease i never come right here place there my decrease i you never pull through the last three so after that i am now going to be placing no more double crochets in each and every stitch make sure that you do not skip any stitch to avoid imbalances if at all you can't do this perfectly you can be counting the stitches as you are crocheting so i'm going to do this and get back to you when i am at the end of this line as well at that part where i am going to place my decrease I have come to the end of this line as well and I am going to place here my decrease. I come, place there a decrease. After that, I just chain one and then turn my work. So after turning my work, I again start the next line with making a decrease just like this. After that, I then place no more double crochets in each and every stitch without skipping any so i come right here place there a double crochet come here place there a double crochet come to the next one place there a double crochet up to when i reach this side of the line where i also have to place a decrease right here well make sure that you make a decrease at the start and end of your line because the work has to keep on decreasing we are going to be doing our top in two parts and i have already made one part so i just wanted to show you this your work has to keep decreasing like this and i did the decreasing part for 17 inches so that means i am going to do lines of double crochets decreasing at the start and end of each and every line up to when i have lines that equate to 17 inches so let me be doing this and get back to you when i have my 17 inches well these are my 17 inches and hope you can see that my work has kept on decreasing and at the end my work is this small so this part that we've made is going to include some small part of the arm and then this side will be for our top so this smaller part will be the arm area and we are now going to make to change the pattern for our lower arm i am now going to make a chain that is going to equate to 10 inches without stretching and remember for a chain you just you never pull through you never pull through i'm gonna do this up to when i have 10 inches this equates to 10 inches and i am going to make an extra chain of one since i am going to be using a single crochet i am now going to come in this second chain this one i yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook i yarn over pull through the two loops i come to that very next one yarn over pull through two loops on the hook i yarn over pull through the two loops come to the next chain i yarn over pull through two loops on the hook yarn over pull through two loops come to the very next one yarn over pull through two loops on the hook yarn over pull through the two loops so i am making single crochets and i'm going to place single crochets in each and every chain up to when i reach this point here 
well i have come to the end of the line and we are going to be skipping one stitch down here so you are not going to consider this one since our chain was connect connected to this stitch you are going to skip this one come to this third one and slip stitch yarn over pull through and also pull through the loop that you have on the hook after that you are again going to slip stitch twice you come here and slip stitch you also come to the next stitch and slip stitch you slip stitch into stitches after that you turn your work we are now going to be still be placing single crochets in each and every stitch but we are now going to be considering only the back loops when you look on top of your single crochet you have this this one facing you which is the front loop and then this one which is the back loop we are now going to be only considering this back loop i'm going to come in my very first back loop this one and i place there a single crochet come to the next one and place there a single crochet come to the next one as well and place there a single crochet also come to the next one and place there a single crochet up to the end of the line and don't forget to always place a single crochet in this very last back loop after that you chain one and then turn your work so when you turn your work you start by placing a single crochet in this very first back loop this one after that you come to the next back loop place there a single crochet come to the next one place there a single crochet and the next one as well up to the end of the line at the end of this line we are going to skip one stitch so we are going to skip this stitch and then come slip stitch in this next one so you pull through also the loop that you have on the hook after that you again slip stitch in two stitches so i'm going to come in this first one and slip stitch come to the next one and also slip stitch after that i'm going to turn my work we are again going to start by placing a single crochet in this very first back loop i come here place there a single crochet come to the next one place there a single crochet come to the next back loop place there a single crochet up to the end of the line as well i have already chained one and turned my work so i'm going to start by placing a single crochet in this very first back loop i then come to the next one and also place there a single crochet come to the next one place there a single crochet come to the next one as well up to when i reach the other side so at the end of the line i am going to skip one stitch skip this one come to this one and i slip stitch after that i am going to slip stitch in the next two stitches so this is the first one and then this is the second one after that i am going to turn my work so when i turn my work when i turn my work i start by placing a single crochet in this very first back loop come to the next one place there a single crochet come to the next one place there a single crochet come to the next one as well and the next one so this is going to be the pattern for our lower arm and i'm going to do this up to when i reach this end so let me keep doing this and i'll get back to you when i have reached the other side of the top so let me do this and get back to you when i have reached the other side of the arm well i am done with my lines of single crochet and this is how my lower part of the arm looks like so using the same measurements you are going to do this same thing again you start from this side where we started from up to this other side i am going to be using two colors so my second part is in blue color and this is how it looks like exactly like my yellow parts you are now going to fold your two parts and put one part on each side just like this after putting each on its own side you are now going to cross them together you are going to bring this blue one and put it on this downer part of the yellow one and then bring the top parts of the yellow one and cover it 
just like this so this v-shape that we have here is going to be our neck area and down here it's where our waist will be we are now first going to join these two parts together and i am going to join them from where this blue part stops up to where the yellow one stops and i am now going to come right here and i attach my yarn i am going to come right here and i attach my yarn just like this so we are going to be joining these two parts together using a single crochet and i'm going to come right here where i have attached my yarn and i place there a single crochet I come place there a single crochet I come in this next stitch on this side and also the very next one on the other side and I place there a single crochet I come in the next stitch on the blue parts here and also the next one on the yellow parts and I place there a single crochet so i come in the next stitches on both sides and i place there a single crochet come to the next ones on both sides and place there a single crochet i come right here place there a sorry i come right here place there a single crochet well i'm going to do this up to when i reach this point here and after joining these two together um again going to come on these downer parts and do the same thing from here where the blue part ends from up to here where the yellow one ends from so let me do that and get back to you when i am done as you can see i am done joining these two parts together and now we are going to leave some space in the middle here for our waist and i'm just going to leave about 12 inches since i don't literally have a big waist if you have a stitch marker you can use one but if you don't have one you can use yarn so i'm just going to come here where my 12 inches stop and i use my yarn to mark this point i also come on this side where my 12 inches start from and i mark this point as well this means that this space right here is going to be used for my waist and we are now going to join these parts together these two parts together from the downer part of my arm up to when i reach this point here where i marked and i'll also come and do the same from this side the downer part on the blue side up to when i reach this point here where i marked so i'm going to come right here in the very first stitch on this side and also the very first one on the other side and i attach my yarn after that we are still going to be adding the two parts together using a single crochet so i'm going to come right here we have attached my yarn and i place there a single crochet I come to the next stitch place there a single crochet I come to the next stitch on this side and also the next one on the other side and I place there a single crochet come to the next stitches on both sides and place there a single crochet come to the next ones place there a single crochet to the next ones as well so I am going to do this placing single crochets in each and every stitch on both sides up to when i reach this point here as i have told you already and i will also do the same thing on the blue side so i'm going to get back to you when i am done joining these two parts together when i am only left with my waist area so i am now left with my waist area and we are now going to do the last part of our top i am going to come right here you choose anywhere you feel like and attach my yarn i come and i attach my yarn so we are now going to place single crochets all around this area and in this very same space where i have attached my yarn i'm going to come and place there a single crochet and then come to the next stitch and also place there a single crochet i come to the next one place there a single crochet come to the next one as well 
I come to the next one place there are single crochet you are going to be placing single crochets in each and every stitch so I come right here and place there a single crochet I come place here a single crochet and the next one as well so let me do this all around and get back to you when I have come back to this point here so i'm back here and i'm going to come on top of this very first single crochet that i made and i slip stitch i end over pull through and also pull through the loop that i have on the hook so i am now going to bring back the two inches that we deducted remember my top was supposed to stop at 17 inches and i considered the 15 so i am now going to make a chain that is going to equate to the two inches this is my chain and we are going to do what we did with the lower parts of the arm so i'm going to chain one more chain since i am going to be using a single crochet and come in this second chain and i place there a single crochet i come to the next one place there a single crochet come to the next one place there a single crochet come to the next one as well up to when i reach the end I have reached down here and i'm going to skip one stitch i'm going to skip this stitch and come to this next one and i slip stitch i never pull through and also pull through the loop that i have on the hook after that i am now going to be slip stitching only once remember for the arm we slip stitched in two stitches but for the downer parts we are only going to be slip stitching once and after slip stitching you are going to turn your work and start by placing a single crochet in this very first back loop i come right here place there a single crochet come to the very next back loop place there a single crochet i come to the next one and place there a single crochet up to when i reach the end of the line don't always forget to place a single crochet in this very last back loop after that i'm going to chain one and then turn my work when i turn my work i again start by placing a single crochet in this very first back loop i come to the next one place there a single crochet come to the next one as well up to when i reach the end of the line well i have reached the end and i'm going to skip one stitch come to the next one and slip stitch i never pull through and also pull through the loop that i have on the hook after slip stitching here i am only going to slip stitch in one stitch and after doing that i turn my work so when i turn my work i resume with placing single crochets in each and every back loop so i come to the first one place there a single crochet come to the next one place there a single crochet and the next one as well so well i am going to do this all around up to when i come back to this point here at the bottom here you will only have to skip one stitch you slip stitch in the next one and then slip stitch in one more stitch and turn your work so let me do this and get back to you when i am at the end i have come to the end and this is how my daughter part looks like so i am now going to join the two parts together I've already chained one and i'm going to come the very first stitch on this side and also the very first one on this other side and i place there a single crochet i also come right here and in the very next one on the other side and i place there a single crochet i come down here and on the other side i place there a single crochet i come in the next stitch on this side and also the next one on the other side and i place there a single crochet come to this one and also the next one on the other side and i place there a single crochet so this is going to be the end of our tutorial today hope you've loved the process of making our laptop and for those who have not yet subscribed i can invite you to subscribe before you leave here and for those who have subscribed already thanks for joining the family if you find this video helpful kindly give it a thumbs up and yes so let me meet you i'm just going to do this down once and this will be the end so let me meet you again in my next tutorial